Today, I'm going to be discussing the new UEA website and in particular, the design process here at Smile. I'm joined by Matt Lees and Elliot Barnacle, both from Smile, who were the creative team on this project. Smile was selected as the partner for the redesign of the UEA flagship website. And today we're going to dive into some of the specifics of the UI and UX work. Matt, Elliot, thanks for coming on and talking about the design process today. So I spoke in another interview with Giles, who I know you both uh, work really closely with on the project about an agile methodology and that was something that you adopted in the design process and I wondered if you could talk about that iterative sprint based approach uh, and yeah I want to know about how you got stuck in with the creative process in particular though I'm interested to hear about the UEA design system that you created yeah yeah sure um, so I, the UEA project was uh, a, a huge scale. These these kind of projects are not to be underestimated. Lots of moving parts, lots of different pages, different views. Um, so so one of the first things we did was break down the workload into packages, and then for for each package we write a sprint brief. So that will include things like a user story, measures of success, uh, any technical limitations or considerations, um, and uh, for us one one of the most important sprints was actually the very first one and and that's for for a couple of reasons uh first up uea were keen to move their visual language on their their old site was a uh, you know uh, looking looking a bit dated um so we worked with the with the team at uea we augmented their brand guidelines uh, and we created this set of digital brand guidelines that be became the the foundations for for moving forward so we set the we set the expectations and the present precedent for for what uh, what the site was going to look like what the visual language was going to look like and the the second reason that that first sprint was was most important was because UEA were also keen to move away from a templated approach to their site. Um, uh, we wanted something a bit more flexible uh, that allowed them to, to do more when it came to creating new pages. We created uh, a series of components um, and those components covered all sorts of things from uh, different masthead designs, um, uh, calls to action, buttons, lo lots of different things. And uh, ultimately they became the building blocks for for the site so uh, as we as we moved through new sprints we we kind of had the foundations there both from a brand perspective and from a component perspective which just made creating new new views much easier you can see some examples of that on screen here so um i i, I talk, talked about calls to action so if we if we click into this one here you can see different versions of the calls to action that we created uh, we had things like banners we've obviously got buttons in there uh, there's cards for, for stories with people's profile pictures in there, uh, all, all of those kind of things. Um, now, obviously, being the first sprint, we, we can't cover everything at that point, um, but it just gave us those foundations to move forward. And then as we moved through the project, we had some, um, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Angelina at UEA. She named them shiny sprints, and these were these were for yeah, sections yeah. of the site that uh, had high importance in terms of recruiting new students, lots of traffic. Uh, and uh, when we got to each of those sprint, we'd, sprints, we'd see uh, an influx of additional components. So as we were designing something up with a special treatment, uh, we'd, we'd create additional components and they would feed into that library as well. Really nice, yeah, that's, that's really cool. And so I, I did another interview recently with uh, Joe Marshall, the project manager on, on, the, uh, on the job, about the logistics and project management. And he said that uh, the collaborative tools that everybody contributed were a big part in the project's overall success. Is that something that you would agree with? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you know, when you're working across different teams, different vendors, being able to have single sources of truth for all of these things is really useful. And, and the 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 screen share, uh, the previous screen share, I showed a, a view of simply. Um, so we did a lot of our work in a design work in a tool called Sketch. 
at the time and we could create uh, mock-ups, wireframes, even clickable prototypes in there. Uh, but then we could upload that work into Simply and Simply has a, a couple of really nice diff uh, two different views in particular. Um, uh, you can see it again on screen here. So we've got yeah. at the top, we've got specs and preview. Uh, and in the preview mode, you'll notice these numbers dotted around. And essentially these are comments from our team, UEA's team, other vendors um, on the project. Uh, and yeah, it was just a, a great way to gather feedback in a, in a single view. Um, and the other the other view up here, specs, is really useful for handing this this work over to to uh, development teams. So you get a really detailed view of the design choices. So uh, devs know what they're doing when it comes to creating the vision that we've we've put together. You can see how when I hover over items, you get these these call out boxes with different pixel uh, count so you can understand space in between different items, understand the exact colors that have been used, type sizes, and, and so on and so forth. It's a really yeah. useful tool for us in that project. And that that pink that's on screen, that kind of the UEA pink, that, that <laughs> reminds me of some very interesting tripwires that we had from an, uh, a, a website accessibility perspective. Would you mind talking about those for a moment? Yeah, yeah. So that. Uh, the, the pink, we spotted a, an issue fairly early on in the project and UEA were really great about it. I know uh, a lot of universities uh, perhaps a, a, a bit against moving away from their brand guidelines, you know, things are set in stone, but uh, basically the pink wouldn't pass um, AA accessibility standards in terms of contrast when paired with white and black text. It, uh, I forget which, which way around it was. One of them would pass, but the other one wouldn't. Um, we made a really slight tweak to the color pink, almost unrecognizable uh, to, to the naked eye, but uh, we made that slight change and that meant that both passed and that just, just made life easier for us and gave us the great flexibility as we moved through the project. Yeah, it's really great to um, to hear about that kind of level of detail that you've, you've really brought to the project. So Elliot, now I come to you. Um, and uh, well, you know, actually, it's, it's a question for both of you, really. But Elliot, if you wouldn't mind taking the lead here, as a creative team, what are you most proud of in this project? Yeah, sure. Um, well, like Matt said earlier, there's kind of a few of the like shiny sprints. Uh, one of those being the course catalog um, for universities. Like their course catalog is obviously one of them more important sections as it's kind of one of the main uh, you know revenue streams and you know all that kind of stuff so it was really interesting to kind of look outside of the sector for inspiration on this one um, and as you can see on the screen share the, you, we've got this kind of like uh, dashboard approach um, which is not something you usually see uh, this far into a website it's usually something that you kind of get like top level uh, you may, maybe like a home page or something like that but you know, it was really great to kind of push the boundaries a little bit and really kind of serve something new for the users of the UEA website, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know about you, Matt. Do you have any kind of like favorite parts about this? Yeah, I, I think for me, it was it was a part that came slightly later uh, after after we'd kind of produced the, the, the vast majority. But the, the home page was one of the final sprints that we went through. And, and for me, this this stands head, head and shoulders above other parts of it. Um, I, I, UEA wanted to offer an experience like no other when it came to the homepage. Uh, and it was really refreshing to be given that creative freedom. More often than not, homepages of these huge sites for, for institutions, for universities, just become a bit of a political nightmare where ev everybody wants their share of the homepage. Everybody thinks their message deserves deserves to be on there and you quite clear with us that we should uh, kind of uh, rise above that and, and create more of an experience for users uh, and you can see it on screen here um, we were we wanted to deliver that experience to, to take users on a journey not just to do the the standard expected home page for for uni for a university site um, UEA had worked with uh, another vendor who had started to, to formulate some of these uh, pots of content that we use to, to power some of this. Uh, and, and our 
our design team took that as a, as a and ran with it, and we we came up with the concept uh, of from from space to seabed, and then that was the that that was the messaging that we could then hang this visual language on, um, and and basically as you scroll the page, you you go through you transition through these different sections. So it starts in space, it's got this kind of starry background, and then you go through some of the key messages, some of the key key things that uh, are important to UEA and their students, uh, and you, you transition all the way down to the seabed with different calls to actions uh, dotted throughout. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean as a as far as a a university homepage goes. I've I've certainly never seen anything like it. So that would be up there. No, no. I mean, you, you know, hearing about that narrative and how, as a design, you've taken it literally from space to seabed. Yeah. You just you don't see that in university websites. You know, what you usually see is some sort of naff carousel and a, a, some news cards yeah. or something like that um so it's it's yeah i think it's it's really refreshing and something that you know to this day is still really unique in the sector um so yeah you should you should definitely be really proud of those those two things if not the whole website really um well done Thanks. okay well thank you so much again to both of you for talking about this project today uh, that does just about wrap up this interview on the uea website now, if you'd like to know more, you can always visit us at wearesmile.com, uh, where we do have a couple more of these interviews about the UEA website. See you soon.